Hey, what's up guys? Tony Teaches Tech here, and I have yet another speed test comparison for you guys, this time between Amazon Web Services LightSail and DigitalOcean. Now, both of these companies offer VPSs in the cloud at affordable rates. They start, I think Amazon Web Services starts at $3.50 per month, and DigitalOcean starts at $5 per month. Um, but in this, in this test case scenario, I've picked the two $5 per month instances on each of the companies and they offer you one gigabyte of ram one cpu core and somewhere around like 20 25 gigabyte ssd hard drive uh, so what i did was i ran a series of a hundred page speed tests using a open source set of tools called sitespeed.io that measures everything from like the time to the first byte all the way up to the page load time and everything in between and uh, you know the results really shocked me so in this video i'm going to go through those results with you guys tell you which one was faster and which one i recommend for your purposes all right guys so a couple more things here before we dive into the results i set up two identical wordpress websites each with a single 1500 word blog post containing three images on two separate servers in frankfurt germany one on Amazon Web Services Light Sale and one on a DigitalOcean server. Now, don't worry that we are working with WordPress in this case. We are only here to test out the speed, the infrastructure that each of these VPS hosting companies provide. So this could have been a WordPress website. This could have been just a single page, you know, like Apache or Nginx website. That doesn't matter. We're just testing out the speed in this case. Okay, so let's look at the results. Now, as you can see here, the first metric that we measured was server response time, and LightSail had a slight advantage here, 52 milliseconds out of the gate, and for the DigitalOcean server, we had 59 milliseconds. Similarly, but a little bit closer in timings was the first paint where Amazon Web Services LightSail came in with a time of 303 milliseconds on average, and the first paint for DigitalOcean was just 305 milliseconds, so just a difference of two milliseconds here. And finally, to my surprise, the last metric here, fully loaded, DigitalOcean pulled ahead with a average time of 501 milliseconds, while LightSail had a fully loaded time of 511 milliseconds. Now, for all intents and purposes, these numbers are fairly close to each other. You know, there's not a huge difference between the two, but I do find it interesting that LightSail was the one to respond to the request the quickest, but it was DigitalOcean who was able to deliver the web page first. So knowing this, I decided to run another set of tests. This time I moved the test server from London to Singapore and ran the same exact set of 100 page speed tests on each of the respective web servers again. And this is where things really get interesting. So for the first test again, server response time, LightSail had a response of 291 milliseconds whereas DigitalOcean had a server response time of just 198 milliseconds. The next metric here, first paint, on average, LightSail had a timing of 1.261 seconds, while on the other hand, DigitalOcean had a timing of 985 milliseconds. And finally, on average, LightSail had its pages being fully loaded in 2.908 seconds, while DigitalOcean had its pages being fully loaded in 2.144 seconds. So you guys can see here that when we were testing, you know, domestically within Europe, the timings were actually fairly close to each other. But when we moved the test client and the test server pretty much halfway around the world from each other, the gap between the timings grew substantially. And DigitalOcean really showed its power to deliver pages a lot quicker than Amazon Web Services. So guys, that's about it for this round of tests. Definitely check out my referral links down below for some free credits for DigitalOcean. There is a lot of factors when considering which is the best VPS service provider. I know for me, one important thing is speed, no matter where you are in the world. So that's why I typically prefer DigitalOcean over LightSail. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, subscribe. And if you do, I will see you in the next video.